Hey everyone, previously on Post 10. Uh oh! That's the end of this break. Alright everyone, we're back at this location today seeing what's happening two weeks later. We broke the rake here, we repaired it, but now we're here to check out the beavers. Looking down at the car, it took exactly 437 miles to find this place today. That's how far away it is. And sadly, look at this. The water is going across the road again. So, what we're going to do is... Get out right now and do a quick visual inspection. Then we're gonna spend the night out here and in the morning we're gonna start chipping away at this dam again. But this time we're gonna kind of sit here for hours chipping it away a lot more and we're gonna set up a trail camera and get those beavers on camera doing their thing. Wow. After being in the air-conditioned vehicle, feels like a sauna out here. Tomorrow's going to be like 95, which is really extreme for Maine. What do we got here? Yeah, there's not as much water as last time. But they completely repaired that damage. I see a lot of fish attracted to my light. Now those beavers are here somewhere. So we're going to come back here first thing in the morning and we're going to start chipping away that dam. Brought a, we're going to try hitting it with, whoa, you heard that? The beavers are not happy. I just heard one of them splash its tail. They do that to try to scare you away. Not happy about the situation. The beavers know what we're planning for the morning. So tomorrow morning, we're going to head out here nice and early, give it a bunch of time chipping away at that culvert. I have no idea how much I'll be able to accomplish, but I'm going to try to get done a lot more than last time. Slowly, just chipping away nice and slowly, that's all. And it hasn't rained in a while, so there won't be as much flow. morning you can see it's not flowing as much as it was a few weeks ago but the road here is pretty soft right underneath these rocks you sink pretty deep so if you were going down this fast it could cause you to lose control all right I just drove around for like two hours letting the auxiliary charge up now we're gonna get out and spend a lot of time here today so here's a situation that beaver dam went up in a matter of a few days and we were here last time we got it to stop going across the street it was probably three times as much water but it's been going on for a while you look over here now this entire area is flooded and because it's recent it's not meant to have this water all the trees in here are all dying right now they're all drowning because this is not a swamp it's a regular forest that was just recently flooded and this road is not meant to be a dam you can't see it here but this is soaked not too far beneath the surface. In the winter time, that would cause major frost heaves, all kinds of damage to this road. Surprise, this has been going on two weeks and nobody's touched it. Because I can guarantee those beavers fixed it in a few hours. For what we did last week, I'm hoping to put a bigger dent in here this time. And then we're going to put a trail camera up because I know damn well they're going to dam it up again overnight. Like I pointed out last time... This is actually getting worse and worse. Water passing through this hill because it's not meant to be a dam. You can see the water lines. That's how high it flows in the spring. So these are either big underground gas station tanks, probably with the end where it would be filled cut off. Somebody said they might be rail cars. 
I don't think so. Look, you don't see any fill. I think the fill was on the end for a gas station. They cut it off. All right. So today, I'm gonna slowly break this dam down. And you can do, you can do a time lapse. You can see it slowly accelerate. Now, I might only take it down a foot or two. It depends how it goes. Right now, it's pretty nice out. But today, it's gonna feel like 100 degrees. Let's see what we can do. Well, that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? I just have to take a break, because like I said, there's a heat advisory. And it's a good thing I took a break. The camera stand is no longer on a rock. The rock's underwater. We got half of the beaver dam down now. It is so easy to get it down, because now there's so much current. You saw, I, I had to go around the other end. You can't get traction, there's too much current. So, it's halfway down, and now it's actually ripping itself apart. You just gotta like grind at it. We're gonna get that whole thing out of here. Not the other one, just this one. Drain the pond down and we'll set up a trail camera for the beavers tonight once the water relaxes. It's no longer going across the street and that's our goal. Without this maintenance, that road will be completely compromised. Now I gotta drink something, it's getting hot out. <clears throat> still can't believe that only took 16 minutes right now this is like a giant whirlpool you see that rotation big whirlpool mm. love this juice I'm gonna drink the whole container then get back to work gotta find a new spot for the camera hopefully looking in there Just as I mentioned, the axe was useless. Did everything by hand. Let me show you what we got going on in here. You can already see, look at a water drop. Beavers will be angry tonight. They're in their lodge right now, most likely. And they can feel this. We got it down about halfway. Oh no! I just flooded my boots. I don't care, they were already wet from last week. I actually forgot to dry them. Where can I set up the camera? Got a good angle, I wish I did this before. Look at the size of the rocks they use.
just hit a big truck over here. Letting loose. I can see parts of it flipping. If I was to jump right now, I wouldn't go back down. There was a room. This might be the time to stop. We're almost to the bottom though. We dropped like a foot. Wow. Drag and push it like this, the launch it.
for a little while, I thought I was going to get swept away. We're running out of water. This current's dropping, actually.
right, you guys. You can see we did this pretty well. The pond is going to continue to drop for a few hours. Then we will return to check it out. Look at the current now compared to before. Now, from my covert training, oh, the spider. Hello. We're not going to drop the final foot. The reason is you want a little bit of buffer here so this water doesn't snatch the bottom of the pipe, go under it. It's very unlikely, but that could undermine the road. Hey, I see some fish. The pond will not be dropped back completely. It will be brought back to where it's manageable. You see over there, we've lost about 18 inches of water so far, and we will be back shortly. Just want to show you, this is after. That's before. See that? All right, I don't have any dry socks. I just put on some slippers within an hour or two in this kind of heat. They'll dry. Look, there's no more water going across the street. We're, we're gonna return in a few hours. Like I said, today's gonna be mid or upper 90s with a heat index around 110. Thankfully, it's only nine in the morning. I'm already feeling it. It's gonna be horrible in the afternoon, but this road will completely dry out from this heat wave we're expecting. And my boots were already wet from last time. I actually forgot to dry them. These are big boots. They won't dry on their own. You gotta put a hose down inside at blowing air or at least prop it open with a fan. When I got out of the water, I could barely walk. These were full of water. That's why I will not get ones that go up to my shoulders. Those are deadly. They will kill you if you slip and they fill up. It's like a sail. It'll take you away. And yes, look, we did fix the rake. I used brazing rods with a really hot blow torch, and I can't believe it. I didn't think it was gonna work. I've done a, a few really tactical clogs with this. I tried breaking it by hand. Brazing actually worked. People wanted me to get another rake saying, how are you that cheap not to afford a $10 rake? Okay, the only rake I found like this was at Walmart, made in China, meaning it would break probably after a few uses. Don't buy tools made in China. Went to the Home Depot. They had ones made in the USA. They're like 40 bucks. But they have nice fiberglass handles. I'd have to cut it because I like to lay it down in the back seat like this. And you wouldn't be able to do that with a long handle. This rake is perfect for my needs. I don't need anything more. Okay, a white pickup truck just stopped to talk to me, ask me what I was doing because I see all this water dropped. And I explained to the worker here that this is undermining the road because he didn't know who I was. And I showed him this, you see over here, this area was not meant to hold water like this. That's why all the trees are dead, it's flooded. You see it all draining back to that culvert. Showed the guy this and he was like, um, thank you. He didn't really know what to say. Looked at it for a few minutes, gave me a wave and took off. That guy doesn't care. It saved him having to bring an excavator out here. That guy still gets paid the same regardless. Now you see all this mud right here? Like I said, this is not meant to hold water. Now that's going out, it's bringing some silt with it. We'll be back in a few hours when this clears up. And anyone who feels bad for the beavers, if this wasn't done, it would eventually destroy the road. See these excavator tracks? When I don't do it, they ride a machine down here, reach in, and do it in a few seconds. It would have been done regardless of who did it. And honestly, I think what I did, the beavers will actually like, but they're gonna start construction immediately. Right now, that thing's blasting too fast. I could barely hold on. A beaver, if they tried to go in there, they get sucked through it. When it draws back within a few hours, they'll be right to work again. Look at that brand new material, ready to go. And we're gonna set up a trail camera inside there. I'm gonna put a stick across it. I'm gonna find like an eight foot stick and strap a trail camera to it. We're gonna take off for a while and come back here. You can see the drawback right there. And another hazard, this road is not a dam. Beavers, every time it rains, that dam's gonna get taller and taller until it would be unable to spill over. Actually, no, because it would cross the street, which is much lower, and wash out the road. This is not meant to be a dam. I showed you the water at the beginning of the video trickling through the hill. Big, big storm comes, these culverts aren't ready to work. It'll push the whole road out. 
And most likely, these beavers are going to become someone's dinner as soon as hunting season starts. See, that's where I had my camera before. Look at it. Remember how I said the rock was underwater? We're already dropping. The main head of the flow is gone because it had power at first because that pond was huge stretching across the forest. Now it's done. That's how beavers build their dams. They flood the land and then they can go around without being noticed under the water, through the forest that they just flooded, cutting down all the trees. Now, there's always been a pond here. What I mean by that is you see the, these little islands over here? The grass is all dead because it's not supposed to be underwater. When this drops back to normal height, there's supposed to be a little bit of water going through a few of these cavities, but that's it. Beavers are not an endangered animal, and it is against the law to remove a random beaver dam. These beaver dams are not in the middle of the forest where they're not affecting someone. So that's like the second worker that's ever talked to me out here, and they're happy with it. All right, we'll be back. All right, everyone, we're back on scene about three hours later. As you can see, the road is completely dried up except for that puddle. And the water, where is it? There's no water here at all. There'll be like a little puddle where I left the dam a foot tall. Let's get out and look. The area smells like the ocean at low tide because all that, this material that was under the water is now rotting. Oh, the beavers, they're here repairing it. Oh yeah, they are. Just heard one of them splash their tail. So this is as low as it's gonna get. You see, we drawed back probably three feet yeah, three feet of water dropped. Now this is normal. This is, just by looking at the river, you see, not over here, that's because the pond happens so often, but you see these bigger trees never would have grew in the middle of the water, if you know what I mean. Now if you look over here, see these thickets? They're dead because they were underwater a few weeks, but they'll quickly come back. That's normal right now where the water is. So what have the beavers done while we were gone? I can't believe they actually worked here in the day. Usually they don't start construction until at night. Look what we have already. Look at that material already. Look at all that brand new material in three hours. Remember how I said the whole dam went up in about two days? Yep. And look at all the rocks they push right up against it. Yep. Can't believe they did this so fast. All right, we're gonna get the trail camera out and break this again. That is funny. Look at that. There's a frog on that. All right, we're coming back in here. I failed right there, that piece is too small. I'm trying to get a piece of wood. You know, that will stretch across so I can put the trail camera on it. It's got to be perfect. And if I get in the center, it'll be four feet off the ground. The beavers will not be able to get to it. They'd be able to get to this. They'll probably try to use this as part of their dam. This will be awesome. We'll get daytime footage. That's so much better than infrared at night. I really don't know. I tried a bunch of times. This is what I'm thinking about. Putting a trail camera hanging on a stick wedged. But I'm so worried about it falling and the beavers chewing the camera. The camera itself is waterproof, but I don't know if I would be able to find it. Now, this is what they put up in three hours. They already brought the pond up two feet in three hours. You see how beavers can be a real big problem? And look how they build a dam. The entire foundation, look at all the rocks they put in here in the past three hours. They put all this rock in here. That wasn't here a few hours ago because this is how they bind it to the bottom. It's rough, it can hold on. We're gonna cut a little slice in this as soon as I get the camera set up. Then we'll be all back in like only a couple hours. I'm not gonna leave it here overnight because daytime footage is so much better. I just gotta figure out my camera rig right here. Like the easiest thing to do would be put the camera there facing in, but you won't be able to see the action of them coming back and forth over it. I don't even know if it exists, but I'm gonna try to find a magnetic tripod. That would be perfect for this kind of stuff. 
All right, everyone, I think we have success. I hope the camera is still here. We're gonna return in about three hours. It's wedged in here. And unless something touches it, it's not gonna fall. I hope. That's a waterproof trail camera. What that means is it's got a gasket around it. If we find it somewhere, we'll be able to get it. I just hope it doesn't fall and the beavers drag it back. The beavers are not grabbing this stuff. Everything is fresh material. Check out the camera. To get it at the perfect angle, I have a rock counterweight. That's the best trail camera I have. It's a high definition one. We'll come back in about three hours. Look at all the rocks. Beavers are strong. Look at this thing. That's a big old rock. You guys will get to see exactly how big they are. See all these brand new rocks that weren't here a few hours ago? They're stealing them from right here. All right. We'll be back in a few hours. See what our beaver friends do. Hopefully the camera's still there. I, there's no way they can get it. I just hope it doesn't fall. I hope they're not dragging a massive branch and they bump it and hit it. All right, we're back four hours later and I see movement. There's a beaver here, probably in the pipe right now, clogging it, see those ripples? Something was, is in there now or just was? What do we got? They were definitely here. What's that? What? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, oh. See it down there? We got a bubbles coming up. There it is. The beaver. Guarantee you this pond will be just like we found it this morning within a couple days. The original dam that we took down only took two days to go up. And wow, I am so thankful that the camera is still here. So now at least we'll have some footage of how they actually build this. They did some work here. All right, look at that. Camera's still here. This worked out actually awesome to stick. We'll leave this here if we ever decide to use this location again for some filming. I'm just gonna take the camera down. We'll leave the stick here. Wow, take a look at all that dust. It's blinding. Check it out. This is so cool, the amount of dust these trucks make. They have to spread them a few minutes apart or they wouldn't be able to see. This water is so clean. Look, you can still see the dust down there from the last one five minutes ago. Here it comes. Also gonna use this river in a few minutes. Take a bath. Wow, look at all that dust. Ooh, that is really cool. But no matter how tight your vehicle is, Dust is gonna make its way in and cover every surface, including your skin. And it makes you smell like uh, when you wash potatoes, that residual 
dust on it if you know what smell I'm talking about.